capacity building program was organized by Saint Soldier Divine Public School, Master Gurbanta Singh Marg on English language and literature. The CBP was conducted by CBSE. The resource person for CBP were Ms. Sonia, Principal Learning Field Global School, Moga, and Ms. Supreet, HOD English Cambridge Innovative School, Jalandhar. The day started with lamp lighting and concluded by performing different kinds of activities to make English more interesting and creative subject. The participants were from various schools of Punjab. It was an informative and interactive workshop. School principal Ms. Devpreet Kaur thanked all the participants and the resource persons who gave their valuable time to make this capacity building program a successful one. The pleasant surprise. Of course, surprises are always pleasant. So we have titled this story as the pleasant surprise. First, we will start an exposition. So here, we have shown a little boy and his mother who are residing in a village and the boy's father is in army and the time is of the festival and the boy could see that all his friends are celebrating Diwali with uh, their families all are very happy and there is ever more, ever more festivity in the air. All are enjoying going to the market, buying different, different gifts. But he was sad and he, uh, he asked from his mother that why my father is not with us? Why we always celebrate Diwali without my father? Why is not with us? Yeah. 
is father was there with lots of kids. So this is the story. Thank you. Please give them a good round of applause. You can paste your story on the wall. Very nice way of putting it. And surprise also is good. Jo aapne story ki pictures di hain. They are well self-explanatory. I want the next teams to stick to the limit of one and a half minute. मुझे वही चीज रिपीट वाला नहीं चाहिए कि सेम थी बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग इज़ क्लियर हियर द डायलॉग्स हैव आल्सो बीन रिटन रादर आई थिंक द थीम शुड हैव बीन टोल्ड टू अस एंड मैम दिस शुड हैव बीन टोल्ड कहानी नहीं सुननी थी हमने हमने एक्सपोजिशन राइजिंग एक्शन फॉलिंग एक्शन और क्लाइमेक्स सुनना था बट इट्स गुड इनफ वेरी नाइसली पुट एंड रियली इट इज प्लेजेंट सरप्राइज सो योर सरप्राइज एलिमेंट गोस वेरी वेल आप दीवार पे लगा दीजिए वेरी Manpreet Madam, take care again. Aap lika dijiye. Well done. So the next one we can have is team not that, then there. Short, short way team konsi? Ajo. Manpreet will be coming with the team. She has not to get it. One person will tell the theme, second person will tell what is the, uh, you know, the object of the story, third person will tell exposition ye hai, rising ye hai, climax ye hai, falling action ye hai, or characters kaun kaun hai, very nice, beautiful, boss under, hai na man? Good marks to your presentation. Kya naam rakha hai story ka? Divided. Okay, is there? The title of our story is The Divided Decade and the characters over here are a former king who is a grandfather, a king and a queen and a young prince who is the son of the king. The former king has given his kingdom to his son and now he is getting old but the king is very much fond of his grandson. The queen is from a common family. She does not know the royal tactics of royal family. She is always annoyed of his father-in-law. And his father-in-law is very generous and kind. He never bothers and he never tells his son. Ultimately, the queen poisoned the mind of the king and she prepared him to expel the old father from his home from the palace and the old father is very much kind but due to old days he fell on the sick he got sick and fell on the bed. The, the royal doctor advised to take care of the old person but the queen is not ready to give any medical services she prepared the mind of the king to expel the king from the palace. Ultimately, he asked the king to go out. The old father, former king, demanded only a blanket so that he could save himself from the poor weather. The king asked the prince to give the blanket. The prince came with two pieces of blanket, of one blanket. He cut one blanket into two pieces and he handed over one piece to his grandfather and his grandfather complained that why he, he was given half blanket and the king again asked from the prince why he has given this half blanket that the prince said that when I would throw you out I would give you this blanket to you. This is the ultimate theme of the story. So the theme of the story is, first of all, we should respect our elders and we should always support them in their old age. And the second one is, that is, as you sow, so shall you be. So this is a social problem nowadays. Uh, we all have faced many uh, such cases in front of us. So the story is based on those things. Excellent. 
He won't trust me. Are you connected with my story? Okay. Hitting with the same thoughts, same conflicting thoughts. They have not it. They have not it. And as they reached to the doorstep, the second thought was completely mature here. So he will not give me. And he knocked at the door with this thought only. He knocked the door, he opened the door, and the father said, Sorry, I do not have any jack with me. So, this was an open-ended story in which Jack, in the end, accept that thought that was coming again and again in his brain that Palmer might not help him. He was thinking, he was thinking and thinking again. So many questions were coming in his mind and there was a problem. So it was a complete open-ended story having all the elements like questioning, problem, surprise, fear, imagination and possibility. But at the end, the thought that overweight, that was element of acceptance, that created his mind to accept that thought that Palmer might not give him the jab. And that is an open-ended story now. That's it. Thank you. Very nice. Resolution on an APR. Just for you to take a decision. See what I have done and see what I have done. Good afternoon to all. We, all the members of SAT team, present the story, Plight of War, title. And beginning with the exposition, the main characters of the story are father named Peter, mother named Judy, six year old boy John. Newborn baby named Abby and Annie. So the situation of this story is related to war. So my poor fellow will now explain. Thank you. Now this is the story of the border. The family who lived on the border and the situation is so tight. The father who is Mr. Peter. He was at the border and war was going on. Did he think that it is happening in Ukraine? And there was lockdown. So, when there is lockdown, John's mother was pregnant and June and John. June is the mother of John. They were alone at home. So, suddenly, they were being started. And the lady did it. So, in fact, what will be happen? It's a danger. And as we know, our team is sad. Our team is sad. It is full of sadness. And they were born in a panic situation. They were feeling helpless. How helpful is they were? There was a boy who was six years old and his mother, who was in their own way. The situation was so difficult. We can imagine that. By the grace of God, there was a birth of baby girl and named Annie. And at the time, there was a knock at the door. They were terrified. Who was at the door? Then mother tried, but she opened the door. There was Annie with her. And he shot down the baby. Joe was shot down and Joe was lonely with her, with his sister Annie. Uh, so, the, all the characters of our story have been expanded to the protagonist. Yes, that means they are the personification of a single person. Uh, the protagonist of the story is Rukh, who is a very, very petty thief. He is very indifferent. He has no background. He has no significant history. Uh, he has no proper identity other than just the name. And also, he is angry with life in general. He is very, very aggressive. And the only aim in life is to survive. He goes from dumpster to dumpster and he has no proper job. Uh, he, in order to steal or rob, he entered a house once. Their man was just sitting there. Uh, 
uh, in his rocking chair and the man, even when he saw me, even when he saw danger, he was unfazed. He was unfazed, in fact he was unaffected. And surprisingly, the man introduced himself. The man introduced himself as Amal. The man introduced himself and for the first time in Rudra's life, his presence was noted. For the first time, someone asked him, how are you? And Rudra explains, uh, they start having a conversation, it builds up and Rudra somehow, the, the anger, every single point of the anger is anger down. And Rudra starts to explain how, how life turned down. He explains how his family never ever paid attention to him. And the house was always on fire. Mother tried but she could, but she could not bear it no more. So she, she unfortunately passed away. And with all that built up anger inside him, he ran away from the house. Rudra says, my primary instinct is always rage. But I am not angry with my mother. I pity her. Rage, I get that from my father. I was never paid attention to whenever I did something worth appreciation. In fact, I was always scolded or beaten up whenever I did something wrong. And that, that was my only way to get attention. So I continuously did wrong intentionally. Amun says, it is difficult to understand, but let me tell you something. Sometimes we take people up as if they are angry, but what if they are just sad? You thought, what if you are just sad? Your name should not be Rudra anymore. It should be Ashutosh. Rudra stands still, says nothing for a few minutes, and leaves without saying anything. And the story ends over. Child, mother, and teacher, over to you, ma'am. So laughter is a best friend. So let's laugh with our story. So in the story, there is a child who is in grade four. And this will be very relating to us like as we teach in the class. This is a class going on science. So the science teacher has taken a concept of evaporation in the class. The teacher is telling what is the evaporation. And the child whose name is Gapu, he is very, very interested and very curious to know that what is the process of evaporation. Now according as all of you must be knowing, evaporation is the process where the water gets converted into water vapor by the heat of sun. Now, science teacher, she gave a homework in the, uh, an activity to be performed at home regarding evaporation. The child was very, very excited. The poor went to home, told to his mother that yes, mom and dad have learned the process of evaporation and we are going to perform that. But some guests were coming at home and mom didn't bother about the what he was saying. She just said, you do on your own and I'll just watch it. Now, but the cook was very, very uh, interested or very, very curious to do the thing. What he did, he take a bowl of water. He just go on to his room and put that ball in the morning at around 9 o'clock and put that ball on the room. Because as teacher told it, that slowly it will get evaporate, not instantly. So he was very, very, uh, you know, Again, going up to the room, seeing that what is the level of the water, does it have gone down or so? So, at around 12 or 12 30, he slept. He got up at around 4 in the evening, he went upstairs and he watched that uh, where the climax comes, right? Now, what is the climax? When he uh, go to the floor at around 4 30 or 5, he saw that not only the water, the bow was also not there. So this is the funny part. He, he thought that not only the water, the bowl was not there. He cried a lot. When the mother heard the voice of his son, she just went up there and she just said, what happened to you? He said, Mama, I have performed an experiment. The teacher told me that only water will evaporate. But my ball has also got evaporated. So the mother told him that I bought it down because I bought it for some reason. Now all the action will be, the child doesn't lose the mother helped the child, then she performed the action again and at last he succeeded. So the learning from the story is that try, try until you succeed. Thank you. Being with uh, proper story, our team may be calm and 
whenever we have to solve any problem or whenever we are in a problem, we should keep our mind calm. So, as the title given by man, that is a problem solving here to narrate one story or create a story regarding problem solving. And our team says, come. So we start like this. Our story goes like this. It's always seem impossible until it's done. And we can realize this by keeping our mind, our body, our soul calm. The story of a team calm goes like this. Total five characters are there in our story. Character number one, Shaggy, having her own swag. Character number second, Annie, very adventurous. Third character is Money, very melodious kind of a girl. Fourth one is Money, muscular boy. And fifth one is Mandy, very simple and innocent. The story goes like this. All the five decided to go on a trip and they decided to be in a forest. As any very adventurous and very dominant among all the five, all the four agreed, okay, here we go. The trip started with a fun in a picturesque forest called Mardwa. They started their journey with a fun, with songs, with their food, having a feast, everything. They enjoyed the day. Again and again, the four of them are enjoying a lot. Mandy is little bit lagging behind. Due to her physical strength, due to her innocence, and due to her simplicity. Still, she managed to do each and everything and want to be along with those four to enjoy as they all are five friends, five good friends. The four also motivated Mandy to be, to enjoy the things in the forest. Then the day passed, it's night time and inadvertently they lost their way. The four who are earlier as described and a good executive having a muscular, adventurous, melodious. Their mind is they are actually in a panic. They were not able to come out of the forest. Then they never asked or decided to take help from who? That is Mandy. Mandy then just gathered her confidence and said, I have got a clue. I have got a clue and definitely we will be outside the what? The forest. And with the help of the movement of the moon and with the direction of the stars, they were able to come outside of the forest. The story is very short though, but the main thing is that Mandy is dead. Mandy was not here. What those four were discussing with each other, she was, she believes that yes, she can do, and definitely with the help of the Mandy only, they were able to come outside of the forest. So the exposition is that when they decided to go on a trip, then uh, rising action when they were in the forest, the climax when they lost their way, and the falling action when they got the solution and they were outside the forest. So this is all about the story. Thank you. So we have three characters, major characters of the story. The protagonist is the meat. He is at, um, very adamant and he has behavioral problems and is always angry and frustrated. We have one teacher who frowns over him every time and the grandmother of Samir. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. So, very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, this story, before I start, I must tell you, this is not just a story, this is my personal experience. 
so I would like to lend all the ears there. So characters, as I have already introduced, Samin, Dr. Dennist, and you can see uh, we have uh, drawn a devilish picture. Why? Because he is a devil-like character, always uh, in seeking attention of the classmates, always creating troubles. We all have such kind of students who are attention seekers, who are you know creating problem for the teacher. The you write to teach and I write to him. So he's that kind of character, and teacher is always you know worried he why he is like this. He is using foul language and abusive language every now and then. Then uh, we have Randall as well. Now, as Ma'am has given us all the features, our rising action, that is Samir's attitude, the power language which he has been using since long, and he bully others and others also bully him, that kind of behavior, and teacher's negative approach towards the uh, that particular character, that is our rising action. So uh, that why he has been, you know, uh, he, he is being treated negatively by the teacher. Teacher also, you know, gives sarcastic remarks on him. And he is habitual of that. Students become habitual when we keep on giving such comments to them. And then our climax will be, uh, we never go into the detail of the case histories of the children. The why the child, he is behaving like this, that we know. But why that remains unanswered most of the times. So here our climax is when PTM, parents teacher meet, happens, then grandmother of Sameen, she comes. Parents will call, but none of the parents, neither of the parents, they reach the meeting. Grandmother comes and she bursts into tears. That is our climax. And when she starts crying and teacher asks the reason, why are you not crying? So then she tells that Sameen has been exposed to a toxic parent relation. Both the parents, uh, you know, father and mother, they have been in this couple since years for, for the last five, six years. And the mother left him and now he has been struggling all alone because father is abroad. He has been to Saudi Arabia and uh, he has been struggling with all the emotions. She said, I am his mother, I am his father, I am everything and I can't handle him alone. So that is why he's behaving like this. So teacher also felt something that I have been treating him so badly. So that is our now falling action. Coming to the falling action when teachers realize this. She realizes that how wrong I have been thinking about for me since so long. And then uh, teacher's loving attitude and the way teacher handles him, she just uses good adjectives and she kept on praising him in the class every now and then. Even for a small gesture he was praised. So that brought a lot of uh, changes you can say in his demeanor, in his behavior. And uh, he uh, breaks down in front of the teacher one day and you know sometimes crying, you know there is one advertisement on the television that boys don't cry. And he had been raised like this. I must say men also cry, boys also should cry when the need we we can't stop and hide and suppress our emotions. So that boy cried like anything that day and after that he felt relieved. The mother like affection was given by the teacher. Teacher assured him that you have any problem, you are always welcome. So the kind of bond he created with the teacher was mother son relation. And resolution, coming to the resolution of the story, that reform Sami, happy Sami, he is not being bullied by others because teacher is watching him every now and then and even trying to bring change in other students and he started taking interest in learning. So at the end, uh, yes, he stopped using power language also. So the end is, we have given the conclusion, teachers who put relationships first, don't have students for one year or one session. Teachers, they have students who view them as their teachers for help. Thank you. Four, five, ten.